Okay, I wanted to go over the uh, lesson nine problem set. So um, it does look a little bit confusing because uh, they want you to um, change the problems, the addition problems from unit form into standard form. So um, let's take a look. So in problem A, we have one tenth plus two tenths. So your first thing is you're going to say how many tenths that is. So you're going to write three tenths, and then you're going to and then you're going to write in standard form what that equals. So you're going to write three tenths like that. So they start off with a really simple one. Uh, in the next example, B. Um, now they have 14 tenths plus 9 tenths. So the first thing you want to do is you just want to add those tenths. So 14 tenths plus 9 tenths is 23 tenths. And then you want to write that. Um, if we used a place value chart to put that in, um, here, let me pull one up. Okay, and uh, if we if we wrote twenty three tenths, um, we may have to make sure that the three in twenty three uh, ends up in the tenths place. So I'm going to go ahead and write that in. We got three in the tenths place, so that means the two is going to have to take the ones place. So when I look at that now, now it'll make sense what I'm supposed to put here in in B. Um, how many ones are there in 23 tenths? There's two ones and there's three tenths. So in standard form, it's two and three tenths. Okay. Let's take, a, I'll just keep this, um, I'll just keep this uh, number line here. in case we need it. And let's do the next one here. We have we have one hundredth plus two hundredths. So that would be three hundredths. That's not too bad. So we write that in standard form. Zero point zero three. Okay, let's try the next one. We have 27 hundredths plus 5 hundredths would equal a total of 32 hundredths. Okay, if we wrote that in our number line, or I mean, I'm sorry, in our place value chart, um, 32 hundredths, that would be, make sure that the 2 and 32 is in the hundredths place, and then we have the 3 in the tenths place, so we would have... 3 tenths, and we'd have 2 hundredths, and then we write that in standard form, and that would be 32 hundredths. Okay. All right, next we're going to do uh, 1 thousandth plus 2 thousandths, and that would equal 3 thousandths. Okay, and then write that in standard form. 0 0.003, so the three's in the thousandths place. All right, let's take a look at F. We have 35 thousandths plus 8 thousandths would be a total of 43 thousandths. So you're going to write 43 thousandths. And then let's see what the 43 thousandths looks like in our place value chart. So 43 thousandths, we'd have to make sure that the three is in the thousandths place. And that means the four is going to be in the hundredths place. And then we'd put a zero for the tens place and a zero for the ones place. So now we can fill out the rest of F. So how many hundredths does it have? It has four hundredths. And how many thousandths does it have? It has three thousandths. And we write that in standard form, and that would be 0 
All right, moving right along. Um, let's move. Let's move this out of the way. And let's take a look at G. So G is going to be six tenths plus three thousandths. So let's put in six tenths and then we're going to add three thousandths. Okay, so if we add those together, we'll get how many thousandths altogether? We're going to get a total of 603 thousandths. And in standard form, that's 0 0.603. And that's how we do G. All right, let's take a look at H. All right, we have seven ones and two tenths. And we're going to add four tenths. All right, how many tenths would that equal altogether? Okay, if we uh, go ahead and add our tenths here, we're going to get six, and then we have seven, and it's asking for how many tenth units are there in in the entire number. So, uh, like, what's the what's the maximum amount of tenths that I could have in seven and six tenths. The maximum amount you could have is 76. So 76 tenths, which equals in standard form, seven and six tenths. All right, let's take a look at the next one. We have two thousandths plus nine ones and five thousandths plus nine ones and five thousandths all right so all together we're going to have uh, if we add in like units, we have seven thousandths, no hundredths, no tenths, and we have nine ones. So how many total thousandths could we have for this whole number? Um, out of the entire number, the maximum number of thousandths we can have out of it is nine thousand seven thousandths. which in standard form is nine and seven thousandths. And this is how the first section should look like in your homework tonight.